geez, uh, you know, these incidents happened 40 years ago. You know, I was just a kid and my dad transferred my first year of high school from Winnemucca to Bishop for his job. So I never really stayed in touch. Uh, and it was, you know, in writing the book afterward, it was really difficult going back and doing fact checking. You know, I called local papers, scoured the internet, reviewed death certificates, dug up obituaries, and I connected with some old classmates who I hadn't heard, you know, hadn't heard from me for in a long, long time. But I felt a moral obligation to connect with the family members of each victim to just let them know about the book or if I could, you know, respect any of their wishes or perhaps, you know, fix a chain of events or a timeline in the story that I might have gotten wrong. Uh, you know, and I was expecting, you know, a lot of emails and calls, um, but instead, you know, it was mostly crickets. You know, the, the, the people who had been in these gun incidents uh, just kind of wanted to put it behind them. And I had, you know, one family um, emailed me and said, you know, that happened a long, long time ago. We miss our brother, but we never talk about it. And, uh, you know, that was kind of one of the things I had to grapple with. It's a, it's a pretty sensitive issue and on a very deeply personal level. Uh, you know, my, my mother was so moved about the story of, you know, Misty Knight's brother that she would call me every week and ask if I were able to locate him. Um, she was so upset and desperate to know. Uh, I did, you know, and I did everything but hire a private investigator. But the best I could determine was she moved during high school, her family moved uh, somewhere in Idaho. And I'm sure she's still out there somewhere, and maybe we can connect in the future. You know, I'd, I'd like to connect and uh, find out for myself.